The BC Residential Tenancy Branch presents an information video on Manufactured Home Park Tenancies. Manufactured Home Park Tenancies are different than Residential Tenancies because the tenant owns their home and pays rent in exchange for the right to use the site and common areas in the park. A Manufactured Home Park Tenancy Agreement must include a term that details the boundaries of the site measured from a fixed point of reference. Manufactured home park landlords cannot ask for a security or pet damage deposit from tenants. That means there is no obligation to complete a condition inspection of the site. When moving the home to or from the site, a landlord can request that a tenant provide moving insurance or a bond as security against damage. The Manufactured Home Park Tenancy Act does not set amounts for insurance. Manufactured home parks may have a park committee that develops and passes rules for the operation of a park such as speed limits, smoking, and ensuring pets are on leashes. There are no limits to the amount of rules a park may have, but they must be reasonable and they must not contravene the Act. The landlord must be a member of the park committee. If there is no park committee, the landlord may establish park rules. The landlord must provide the tenant a copy of park rules prior to entering into a tenancy agreement. The park rules may change if the tenants are provided two weeks written notice of the change. If the time comes to sell a manufactured home, the tenancy agreement may transfer from the tenant selling the home to the purchaser of the home. This is called an assignment. The terms of the tenancy cannot be changed without the agreement of both the landlord and the new tenant. If the tenant is leaving temporarily and wants to rent out the home, this is called a sublet. Because the subtenant is renting the home itself and not the site, this new agreement is under the jurisdiction of the Residential Tenancy Act. If it is written in the tenancy agreement, the landlord may prohibit a tenant from subletting. When a tenant would like to assign or sublet, they must make a formal written request to the landlord using the appropriate form. The landlord has the right to deny a potential assignment or sublet, but only if the rejection is in compliance with the regulations. The landlord must respond in writing to a request to assign or sublet. If the landlord does not do so within 10 days, they may be considered to have given consent. The website has more information on assigning and subletting. A landlord and tenant are both responsible for repairs and maintenance. The tenant must repair damage to the site or common areas they have caused, even if it is an accident. A landlord must maintain and repair damages caused by reasonable wear and tear to the site or common areas. The landlord must provide the tenants with emergency contact information. Since the tenant owns the home, manufactured home park landlords must not enter into the tenant's home unless there are exceptional circumstances, such as an emergency in the home or suspicion of abandonment. The landlord may enter onto the rental site to collect rent, serve notices, or if they provide proper written notice. For more information on landlord access, please visit the Residential Tenancy Branch website. The landlord may increase the rent once every 12 months using the correct form from the Residential Tenancy Branch. Landlords may increase the rent by the standard allowable increase plus a proportional amount. The amount of this year's allowable increase and information on the proportional amount is available through the Residential Tenancy Branch website. If the landlord plans to convert all or a significant part of the park to a non-residential use, the landlord may serve the 12-month notice to end tenancy. This allows the tenant ample time to make arrangements for the relocation of their manufactured home. This notice entitles the tenant to compensation in the amount of 12 months rent. Understanding manufactured home park tenancies is an important part of running or living in a park. For more information, please visit our website at www.gov.bc.ca slash landlord 2020-2021.